Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Seeds and Scents, and welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.sensi.us for I am Liz Quinn, your certified Sensi consultant. So today I have for you a video on my brick stash. I do not have a ton of bricks, but I have enough that I think as kind of a kickoff to showing you my fall winter stash in total that it would be a good idea to discuss my bricks a lot of which are holiday appropriate because that's when we get the most availability of cool bricks so first off though i have some from my scentsy club and if you do not have a scentsy club that is the place where you can access bricks of what i would call our classics all year round it costs nothing to sign up for one you can do a monthly you can do a bi-monthly or you can do a quarterly and then you have access to the best deal as far as the amount of wax that you can get for a certain price that we offer it's 24 dollars for an entire brick and then if you have an order over 60 dollars, you can throw it in as a half off item so you get it for 12 bucks which is incredible five and a half bars for 12 bucks that is a deal anyway so i have some of my scentsy club basics here starting off with squeeze the day at the moment this is retired we don't know whether it's coming back in the spring in a bar or not but for now you can get it in a brick and squeeze the day is the most beautiful fresh lemon with a kiss of vanilla it is my husband mr quinn's absolute favorite bar of all time and it is just beautiful light zesty lemon and i just actually broke into this one this morning i'm very very happy with it it's a beautiful beautiful brick Second, I also have from Scentsy Club my Brick of Coconut Lemongrass. And again, this is one of those things that you just work on a little bit at a time. Coconut Lemongrass is another classic. I think this one's still available as a bar right now. Oh, and this one I prefer actually even over Squeeze the Day because I love the lemongrass balanced with the coconut. It gives you a sweet, zesty freshness. And this is great for banishing stinky odors and just making your house smell energized and light and happy any time of the year. So that is coconut lemongrass. One that I would say is season specific, more to spring summer, which they do offer all the time right now in Scentsy Club, is Skinny Dippin'. And I only got three cubes of this done over the summer. It's a really good scent though with your pear, your apple, and a little bit of like, it almost smells like there's coconut in here but it's not in the notes and there's some melon. It's a great summertime scent and it is a classic. So next I have a couple that are more on the fresh side. So I love Jammy Time. I actually have another brick of this coming in my next club shipment. Jammy Time is retired and we hope not for good, but at least for now. And it is, in my opinion, the best cuddly bubble bath bunny slipper scent they've ever made. Oh, it is so good. It just makes you happy. So it's got sweet pea, it's got freesia, it's got lavender. It smells like the most wonderful bubble bath you will ever take. And it is one of my absolute favorites. So like I said, I've got another brick coming and hopefully we will see this back in a bar in the spring. And then it's competition, which I'm not totally in love with, that we have right now in the catalog in like all the things is fluffy fleece and this one is similar to jammy time and it is a fresh laundry cuddly scent but that's where the similarity just ends and for me fluffy fleece is beautiful but it makes me want to leave it at the department store makeup counter and not bring it home with me but my kids love it and most people love it and it has heliotrope it's got black currant it has this beautiful sophisticated powdery fresh cuddly smell but I just far prefer jammy time. Anyway, this was from last year. As a consultant, I was just like brand new consultant when we could get our hands on this whole collection of bricks. They always do five. And then we could sample them out to our customers and enjoy a very good discount on the entire grouping. And I will melt this happily from time to time. It's just compared to jammy time for me, there's just no comparison. So now we get into the ones I really enjoy. So we have almost an entire brick left i'm pretty good at doing like three cubes in over the summer a vanilla bean buttercream which is the best mixer besides the next one i'm going to tell you about that sensi makes so this is just wonderful sweet gooey buttercream goodness i do think of all of our vanilla scents this one tends to go a little bit play-doh on me so i might go back to getting it in bars where I do feel as though some scents run the danger of not being quite as strong as they are when you just get them in the smaller bar form. And so for this particular brick, and I had more than one brick of vanilla bean buttercream, it's just a little bit weak, which kind of gives it a Play-Doh smell, but it's still a fabulous mixer and it is a very good 
uh, sweet, buttercreamy vanilla that you can throw in with anything else to dampen it down. Next is my favorite of all the vanilla scents, except Simply Vanilla, which isn't here. It's retired. You can't even get it right now. Is sugar cookie. And sugar cookie is amazing. They didn't have it in a bar over the summer, and now it's back in the catalog. And I think I will always say that the bar is the very best form, but this brick, this one's pretty close to the bar. Some of them are stronger than others. This one does a really good job. So how do you use a brick, Elizabeth? Well, usually you score it, which you can see here. I've got a line that scored it, and then you score it again, and then you take out a whole brick cube. Let's see if I can pop one of these out. Yeah, so here's your brick cube. You don't want to throw all this in your warmer. That's a waste. So whack it into two, three, four chunks, and then you can mix it with things, or you can pop a large chunk in and be the equivalent of two and a half or three cubes of wax. And these are just phenomenal, incredible, wonderful things. Okay, so next we get to another one that was in last year's five uh, pack, and that was for fall and winter, vanilla cinnamon maple. Now, this is in the catalog again, and just like Fluffy Fleece, it's just sort of like okay for me. This smells really nice in my basement. It is a beautiful scent. It's just not my favorite because the vanilla, the cinnamon, and the maple, when they mix together, I guess it's that there's no distinct note. It's just sort of a muddled mess to me. But in my basement, which seems to be distinctly different in the way that things melt down there compared to upstairs, it's really, really homey, so I will be happily using up the rest of this, and I had been trying to give this away for months, like, to customers. You want a cube of my brick, and so I've done a pretty good dent, otherwise it would still be up here. All right, one that I do love that I got in a flash sale, because they offered it as a consultant perk in 2020 before I was uh, an actual consultant in brick form, is Walnut Raisin Muffin. I got this in a flash sale. This is such a nice cuddly smell. It's one of those like middle of the road when you're a little burned out on too much spice or too much bakery and you don't want to do florals and you don't want to do fruity. And it's a rainy day, you reach for your Walnut Raisin Muffin and it's got this subtle raisin note, not a lot of muffininess. So if you need more something something, you can mix it with sugar cookie. If you need more spice, you can mix it with Welcome Home, but it's just a really, really good cuddly, relaxing, and I have a decent amount left um, smell that they did a couple years ago as a scent of the month. Okay, now we get into the ones that are probably my favorites. Um, this one, I didn't get another brick or put it in my club just because it's such a saturated scent. I don't use it that often. And that was last year's Spiced Eggnog. Now, everybody's been saying, oh, we didn't get Spiced Eggnog back in anything. I would bet you you're going to see this in December in the sense of the season. If you've caught that the advertising and all the things that we know as consultants, it cuts off at the end of November. We don't know everything about December yet. So take heart, my friends. I think I would almost be willing to bet on this. You will see this sent back again this, this December in the sense of the season. So this is, oh man, this is one strong saturated eggnog scent. It is really good, but it's a lot. <laughs> this is what you call extra. So it's got all that eggnog, it's got the rum, it's got this super, super sweet, saturated eggnoggy goodness smell. And I think I have enough here for probably about three years considering that it just overtakes my house like nothing. But it's really good. Okay, and then last but not least are my two favorite bricks that give away all the others before I give away these. I've got two of each. The first one is Crimson Berry Christmas, and this was available a couple years ago. This is what I've got left. Oh, so, you know, I'm gonna have a hard time breaking into the second one, but there's enough there for probably three or four years. Crimson Berry Christmas smells an awful lot like Tis the Season from Bath and Body Works, and it is so good. It's got all the Christmas spices, plus the berries, and like a sweet apple undertone. It is amazing. So of all the ones on the table, I think this would be the last one standing if I didn't have the other one in my club as a bar. Oh, it's so good. It's so, 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 so good. Uh, I should have put this in my club as a bar a couple years ago, but at that point I wasn't a consultant yet and I wasn't quite that committed monetarily because now we as a consultant, you are able to get certain perks that really help you along with your uh, <clears throat> wax addiction. But anyway, Crimson Berry Christmas, phenomenal. And for me, 
Many people don't care for this smell. I think the best brick that I've ever laid my fingers on, my hands on, is Sweet Orange Pomander. Oh my gosh. The only reason that this would beat out Crimson Berry Christmas is that to me, from September through till about March, I can melt this thing. This is like spawn. It is so good. Oh yeah. This is everything that has to do with Thanksgiving, Christmas, just hearth, home, good memories, everything that has to do with that is in this bar, this brick actually. And I have it as a bar in Sensi Club, so I have three or four of them now all piling up. <laughs> Plus all of this, and I did it in an entire brick last year, guys. This is, these are like two and three of the bricks that I had. So I just, I can't say enough about this. I don't know why most people can't stand it, but oh, this is one of my favorite scents from Scentsy for the fall winter time. And it just makes me feel hugged in my heart. So that is my brick stash and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Now I'm going to be trying in the next week or so to start working on my actual entire fall winter collection. I have so many bars and that way it stays slightly a mystery that I do a spring summer tour, which I already did in the spring. And then I'm going to do this fall winter, all my bar stash tour, hopefully starting, maybe I'll get a video up right around September 1st, maybe a little before, maybe a little after. And I'll do that in probably three or maybe four parts because there are a lot of bars. Some of them I have duplicates of, like I was counting my Mighty Pine, which I took out of my club. I think I have like 10 bars. That's a lot for me. I'm not usually one that stashes that many of one type, but I kind of went crazy on the pine and spruce and balsam scents last year. I'm not sure why, but I have got stacks and stacks and stacks of all the things in uh, tree scent. So we will be talking about that soon. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. God bless. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.